What's up, guys? So I'm going to react to James Bonadie's rank and rent model versus SMMMA. And in this video, you're going to find out why I prefer local lead generation using the rank and rent versus running paid ads, which is what James Bonadie's teaches. Now, James Bonadie's used to be in our program and he decided to kind of split off and start his own coaching program called the Local Marketing Vault. Uh, but yeah, in this video, he makes a case for SMMA and I'm going to give my two, two cents as to why I still believe our model of rank and rent is better than running an SMMA agency. What's going on? James Bonnie's here. In this video, I'm going to talk about two very specific business models that are very similar, but also very, very different. And a lot of people who are looking into starting their own agency, their own S uh, SMMA business, which would be social media marketing agency business. Um, they always fall into the trap of understanding the difference between rank and rent and everything else. Because one model it, it concentrates on basically one type of service, and then the other model concentrates on various types of services. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is give a little background of how I got started in the agency model as it is. Because once you understand the background of where I started and how I ended up where I am today, you're going to understand why I choose and chose the SMMA model. Okay. But it's very, very important to understand the difference. And so you hear a lot of terms of rank and rent and search engine optimization and Google and all that good stuff um, when you're in the agency world or looking into a business model. So in 2014, when I got into this world, uh, at the time I was a teacher, a business teacher, teaching in high school. Uh, and then over the next couple of years, I uh, went back and got my master's degree, became a vice principal. Money was still tight. I needed to figure out a way to make more money. I know it, uh, some people, depending on where you are in this world or where you even are in this country, uh, probably can't understand how somebody with two degrees um, making at the, the highest point of my career, a hundred grand and still needing money. Right. Um, but the reality is it depends on where you live. I live in a very high taxed area and, um, it just, it, I just couldn't make ends meet. And on top of that, I, I wanted to make a lot of money. I mean, doesn't everybody here want to make a lot of money? Isn't that why you're watching this? Or isn't that why you're starting a business or looking into starting a business? Of course money. I don't, I, I did not want money to ever be part of the decisions that I make. Okay. And I wanted to be able to invest and buy real estate and do all of the fun stuff that's, that I see so many people do. And I've gotten myself into that position and it all started with the agency world. So the rank and rent model is all about building lead generation sites. So let me give you an example of one of mine. Let me just show it really quick. So this was one that I built in 2000 and I don't even know, 15, maybe this was an NJ tree removal service, right? I wanted to get it ranked. Um, I don't know how I still have access to this account, but I still have access to this account. I haven't used this in six years, probably, uh, but it's all still here. Ironically, obviously it's not published, um, but it was at one point. And the, the, the rank and rent lead gen model is all about um, ranking a, 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 maybe a 10 page website on Google in your local area for, you know, low hanging fruit keywords. You know, the, the premise is that um, it's easy to rank in the local area. And I would say probably back then it was a lot easier. Now I did get this ranking. Okay. So you have two problems here that I'm going to start with on the rank and rent. The problem number one is um, it's a lot of work to, to build a lead gen site. Okay. Once you build it, it's a lot, it's a big waiting period, six, eight, nine, 12 months where there's no income coming from this. And so what a lot of people do is they finish one and then they go and build another one, they go build another one, they go build another one, and they have 10 different lead gen sites, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars into the hole in hopes of ranking some of them or all of them, okay? In this particular case, um, I had this one ranked and it just was not bringing enough leads that any tree care service in my area wanted it. That's the reality of it. Now, let me take three steps back. Just because that was my story doesn't mean that's going to be everybody's story. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that make a lot of money doing this. And so there's no reason why you couldn't Obviously, uh, James is going to try to make his model sound better than our model. So he's going to say it takes six to eight months. You know, you can start generating leads in, you know, two to three months if you know what you're doing. And six to eight months is a little bit more on uh, the longer aspect, uh, the longer side. Um, yeah, to, to rank dominate for every keyword, it might take up to six months. But remember, your lead gen site can start generating leads as soon as two to three months. Uh, the first lead gen site I ever built, I had a paying client in three months. If that's the business model you wanted to choose. It did not work for me. All right. I found myself um, basically pitching business owners search engine optimization in hopes to rank their site. And I forego the lead gen. I did it in uh, and, um, tree remo removal service. I did it in pool installation. Um, I did it. Maybe I still have some of these. What else I did it in electrician. Uh, uh, the problem with like, you know, when he says that it didn't work for him, um, you can say that with any business model, right? Like I tried Google AdWords. It didn't work for me 
either <laughs> because AdWords is very difficult to get consistent leads uh, because you have to pay for clicks. So, uh, I mean, from what I recall, James Bonadies uh, came into our program around 2016, 2017. And not very long after that, he was already trying to start a coaching program, uh, the local marketing vault with his partner, uh, Jason McKim. And to me, like Jason McKim is really the guy that, you know, seems in his program seems to be teaching about how to run paid traffic. Uh, so to me, Jason is the guy that actually, uh, has experience running paid traffic to me like i don't i don't really th believe that james actually truly ran a paid traffic agency for that long i think he went straight into the coaching business uh electrician this was a uh, also electrician uh, um, pest control towing car services limos uh, part of the reason why i made this video is obviously you know james what james is teaching is pretty similar to us. It's technically lead generation. They use paid traffic. We use free traffic. So in this video, obviously he's going to try to shit on our model, but I have to defend it. Right. There's a good reason why I've both had paid traffic client and free traffic clients. And I, I will pick free traffic clients any day of the week. So I'm going to kind of go into why in this video, I think, me reacting to his video is going to give you a good uh, compare and contrast. You can see all these. Uh, I was trying to sell back braces at one point. This was a client that I just built a site for, and then the tree, tree removal, right? I don't know where my pull service one is. It, maybe I didn't use uh, Weebly to do that. So that's the model, right? Now, the problem, the second problem is, is I'm going to tell you right now, uh, New Jersey tree removal, is that if his websites are not even published, obviously, I mean, he could have easily like built some sites and gave up and never went through and ranked any site. Like there's no proof that he's showing. Ranking here is this is who you're going to compete against. Angie, Angie's list. Yelp. Okay. Um, you're going to compete against people who have this is a common objection. A lot of people like to bring up like Angie's list and Yelp. Yeah, they exist as lead gen companies, but people don't want to go to Angie's list or Yelp. You know, a lot of people want to like click off of the top companies that you see in the maps. Uh, and also there's plenty of leads to go around. Some people will go to Yelp, but we're not trying to generate every lead in the marketplace. If we can generate even, you know, five, 10%, we're still going to make a uh, pretty good income. So, you know, Yelp and all the, these companies, they're never our competition. If you build a website specific, a brand specific to that city in that niche, you can outrank many of these like Yelps and all these directories. Like I've been running uh, the, the, their services, like Bigfoot Tree Service was started in like 1998, right? So they're, they're, uh, you're, you're never going to get there, ever, right? They, they, they have years and years ahead of you. So the low-hanging fruit that... Again, this is like James doesn't really know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, obviously, I create websites all the time and I'm able to outrank companies that's been there for five, 10 years because they don't understand the latest Google optimization strategies. Okay, this is what gives us the competitive advantage. So again, this is this is a farce point being made by James right now. Once was eight, nine, ten years ago, no longer is. Now again, in some cities, in some states, uh, not states, in some cities, um, you can get get it ranked. Okay, the next thing is is creating a Google My Business profile for this this business, this tree care business. Now you don't actually own the tree care; you're just a middleman, right? Is now how do I get uh, Google to approve me? So then I can actually maybe rank, right? That would be the second tier of ranking, organic rankings, and then trying to rank here, right? I went to high school with this kid, Trees Unlimited. He's been doing it since for 15 years, all right? Uh, big foot tree, I, I, apple seed, I see their, their trucks everywhere. 120 reviews, 56, 26, like, who am I going to... I mean, it's not that difficult to outrank a listing with 26 reviews or even 56 reviews. And also, a lot of the Google map listing rankings are based on geo location so notice how he typed in nj tree removal near me so it, the map listing is going to try to list uh listings where he is located currently in new jersey so uh if you create other map listings in other areas of the town you don't have to um have like 120 reviews you can still rank in the top three uh just based on the geo location you're gonna, like, who am I competing against when I'm starting a brand new 
website. I'm competing against people who've been doing this for a long time. The low hanging fruit that once was is no longer. You may be able to niche so far down and be able to find one that you can make this work. But the reality is, is that it's very difficult. It's difficult, but all businesses are difficult, right? Just, it's almost like. Um, if, you know, competition exists everywhere on the internet. Um, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, but there's no way that like our program would have the testimonials that we have if what we're teaching isn't still working. So if you go to epay.com forward slash FB, like you'll see all the latest testimonials from, you know, February 19, February 17, 2023, February 12, 2020, like all these testimonials that we're continuing to produce, this uh, is my you story would not have that if it didn't 1, work. 1,000 hours to... So, like choose your difficulty. And then you're going to notice up here, you have, these are called LSA ads, all right? And these are just regular pay-per-click ads. This is business model number two. Call it two-page sites. You can call it lead gen, lead generation model, um, where you forego this. You forego the months and months and months of ranking or trying to rank, never knowing even if I do rank, are leads going to actually come in? All the money I put in, all of the time and effort I put in, all the, the SEO on the back end and buying links and, and, and buying citations in hopes that I can find an address near the service area in order for Google to rank my Google My Business profile. There's so many different factors. Our business model is forget all this. I mean, if you want to do this, great, right? But that's back end stuff. Like that, I'm, I, I am going to pretend I will never make or make money or rank on a lead gen site. It's a bonus if I do. So we forego this. We forego um, Yelp and Angie's List and having to compete. You're never going to compete with those. Um, and we say, let's pay to play, baby. Like, let's do it. Let's use the client's money to pay to get him. Pay to play is not a great long term strategy because if the, the client can fire you at any time, you know, they go, hey, James, like we're not happy with the, the lead quality that you're sending us. We're going to stop the campaign. And next thing you know, you are back to square one, like like to try to take a shortcut and get the client's credit card and try to generate leads that way. Yeah, you can generate leads faster, but again, it, you're not protected long-term. Uh, the client can easily stop the campaign at any time. They have the control, you don't. Up here. Now, Google Guaranteed or LSA ads, yo, let me tell you something. These things are cheap to generate calls and leads. They work like this, okay? And guess what all these guys do? And I know for a fact, Trees Unlimited does. They pay people like us to put these little ads up. And that's why we call these the two-page site ads. Not all companies. Remember, Google makes it super easy for any company to run these ads, right? And Google has even, um, uh, you know, account managers that you can build, form a relationship with, where these account managers will literally help you if you're a business owner, um, walk you through all the steps, get on like Zoom calls with you to help you learn how to run their ads. Why? Because that's how Google makes their money, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of these companies over time will see you as an added expense. And they'll, over time, they could figure out to do it themselves. And once they do, uh, they can fire you, they can cut you out. So, and then over here, pay per click, they're paying people to run these ads. Okay. Like I said, Trees Unlimited, matter of fact, I'm moving offices into an area where Trees Unlimited is. The owner of this, uh, Justin Shaw. Um, he, uh, I went to high school with him. He was two years older than me. I just ran into him in the new office complex because that's where his office is. And uh, he pays somebody nineteen hundred a month, plus he pays ad spend to run his LSA ads and his pay per click advertising. Nineteen hundred a month. That means whoever's running this is. All I really don't believe that the streaker company is paying somebody a nineteen hundred dollars in fees just to run ads. I mean, in a tree care business in a city size like this, that doesn't even make sense. Like uh, that all profit of $1,900 a month. It could be you. It could have been me, right? Could have been. Maybe I was too slow. No, most AdWords companies make around like 20% profit margin. So tricker companies are, you know, if their ad budget's like three grand, they might pay an extra like 20% of the three grand in ad spend. Maybe I didn't, you know, I should have talked to them sooner. But the reality is, is that that, you want to talk about low-hanging fruit. You go to a business owner and you say, hey, I'll get you uh, on Google. First of all, I'll get you Google guaranteed, certified, okay? Your leads are gonna come in cheap as hell. Only pay when they do. I can get you up here, so we're everywhere, right? And by the way, since you already have an established business, if you're not ranking here, I can do that for you using their site. And if they're not ranking here, I could also do search engine optimization ranking their site. Why would I build a brand new site and wait a year, if not longer, when I could just do it with a client? It doesn't take a year, like I said. If you rank their website, 
again, they can still fire you because you don't own any digital assets. Okay. So I've done AdWords clients. I've done SEO clients where you rank their website or you run AdWords for the client and you know, nine times out of 10, those clients don't stick around long term. So AdWords clients usually stick around for like, you know, four, five, six months and they de begin to fall off. Same with like SEO clients. Like that's the problem with a lot of these strategies. They promise you like faster results, but it's not long term. The only long term clients that I've ever gotten are a rank and rent model or where I actually own my website that I rank to the top. Once I own the digital property, now the client can't fire me because they know if they stop paying me, I can send the leads to their competitor. That's what gives you the ultimate leverage in a digital marketing agency like business. Well, you might say, James, um, every time I see this rank and rent model, like, you know, they say that it's really easy to rank and stuff like that. I can tell you it's not. There may be uh, situations where it is. It's quote unquote, not easy to rank, but in business, you don't want something to be easy, right? AdWords, the problem I have with AdWords is it's too easy for anybody else to, to run AdWords. So now like you're dealing with a business that has low barrier of entry where you have a lot more competition of other agencies. There's so many other AdWords agencies that are running um, AdWords out there. And let's say you even have a listing for your client and running AdWords, another agency can come in and call that, call your client and offer better rates and take your clients from you at any time. There's nothing stopping other agencies from doing that. Whereas if you have a ranked one Google website, no one is taking my top, top spot in Google because I, I have a higher level of skill um, and when it comes to ranking a website in Google than other people. So I, I don't have competition. I can dominate. So that, that's what is so important in business is to actually do a business that has a higher degree of difficulty in the skill set or perceived uh, difficulty, uh, level of difficulty. That's what creates a business where you can dominate and you don't have competition. And all, all the power to them. Um, I have been personally involved uh, with the ranking rent model and it just didn't work for me. That's it. Maybe it'll work for you. And so I don't think James tried long enough. He was on, uh, like I said, he was only in our program for like a little bit and he, he was off trying to start a coaching program. What we put here on these little ads that the, that the clients pay for is we put these things called two page sites. Now in our, by the way, guys, like in our program, we teach how we teach our students how to run AdWords as well, but we only teach that as a short term way to generate leads and start and, and make money. Like, uh, they only teach, they focus on AdWords, but in my, again, in my opinion, it's not a great long-term strategy. Program that we teach students. We give our students 32 of these. Uh, matter of fact, if I come up here and I type in tier, you'll see all these tiers here, right? All these tiers are all done for you to page sites that we use and teach how to run here. That's it. Very, very simple. So if I take a look at like this one, uh, this is a pain management to page site. And all that happens is it's a survey. They fill a survey out. Um, somebody who's interested that comes off an ad here. And once they fill it out, they submit it, the, the uh, client gets it. And, um, and then it comes to a thank you page, which looks like this. And, and basically right here. And see, as you can see, here's placeholders. You know, this is a, this is a placeholder. So then when the, when the student is ready to start running ads with a client of theirs, uh, they just plug in the client's information. And this thing is up and running, I mean, in an hour, if that, right? And so we've shortcutted the technology piece. And I, I don't think we're the only ones doing this, by the way. Um, maybe, maybe we are, I'm not sure. Uh, but we've, sh we've taken kind of this, this uh, the biggest cr uh, crunch that people have when starting this business is technology. And so we've tried to remove as much as that technology for our students uh, so they can just boom. Once you learn the foundations of this business, they're up and running, right? Here's the two-page site, plug in the information, let's run that puppy run. By the way, these pages are basically just landing pages, okay? It's like ClickFunnels does the same thing. It's, it's nothing special. Like you're, not, you're still not building a, an actual digital asset that has true value. These are just basically, you know, simple duplicate pages that you're landing pages you're creating and you're running AdWords or Facebook ads. Right on, on Google. Lead gen on the, uh, rank and rent on the other hand, you're going to, you, you got to go all in and build a website and learn how to build it. And look with drag and drop websites. Absolutely. Like it's, it's a lot easier than it used to be, but there's a lot of legwork as well. You got to get the content up there. You got to have to make sure it's content rich. You have to make sure you get links where you can find the links anymore nowadays, or are the links even good. Uh, now what happens if Google, <laughs> I mean, th this is what makes our business valuable is all the, the work you have to put into it. You're actually creating a valuable piece of digital asset. Okay. If it was like a duplicate a copy and paste, click, 
couple buttons, those pages are not valuable in, in the eyes of Google and it's not gonna be hold any value long term in, 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 in the search engines. So uh, all the diff all the, the thing that he's talking about is actually work that we're putting into our digital properties and we know how to do it better than uh, most people out there that actually make our websites valuable. Sandboxes you or black boxes you um, because they don't like your content or because you're brand new and you're trying to be a business that you're not, right? You're trying to be a business. You're trying to be a tree care service business, but you're not a tree care service business. And you might say, James, well, uh, these two page sites, you're not a tree. Well, no, you have a client that has agreed to run ads on to this landing page. Okay. Or you have a client who is like, yes, help me get certified to run LSA ads. Yes. I want to run this two page site on here, right? You have the client's permission. And, um, and yes, try to rank my Google My Business. Here's the money to go and do it, plus more for you to go and do it, right? Okay, then what, what if after three months they go, hey, I don't, I'm not happy with the results. Uh, you're no longer allowed to run campaigns for me. I'm, I'm gonna go try to do it on my own or hire another company. Boom, suddenly you're not making money anymore. Okay, so you can go have this business, uh, but overnight you can lose that business, so. Again, you, you're not protected from a client leaving you at any time uh, with this model. And so that's the difference, really. Rank and rent model, uh, let me get out of all this. The rank and rent model, it's the model I started in. I, I know for a fact people st still succeed in it, but you have to understand the complications and the problems with it. Complications, so-called co complications in air quotes, uh, is all the reasons why you want to get into rank and rent because these are the complications that a newbie or a novice will trip over and they won't be able to start our business model, which is what gives us barrier to entry, which is if you actually know how to master these stumbling blocks and move through them, um, that means you have a business model that you can dominate in with far less competition and it's more future-proof because not too many, you know, not, you know, like all these like new comers can't just copy your business uh, because they're gonna get stuck on these complications, right? So again, the lead gen model, the two page site model, kind of all these things are positives in my eyes. Uh, as somebody that's been doing rank and rent for the last eight years, these are the positives of our business model. Cuts away all that wait waiting period and cuts right to the chase of results to the client as soon as humanly possible. And with those results, um, why would they ever stop paying you? That's a very big thing that people who run that business model will say, the rank and rent model is they'll say, well, you know, Facebook has shut off your ads. I mean, I didn't show you an example of a Facebook ad. Can you run it? Certainly. I, I have most of the business that our students are running is on Google, right? Uh, we do have a lot of people that run a lot of Facebook ads, but Facebook ads shut your account down when you're trying to sell things that Facebook doesn't approve. If you're trying to promote your tree care service, they're not going to shut your ad account down, right? Th 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 that argument never makes sense to me. Like if you're a real business running ads to your local area that you can offer them a discount to cut their tree down, Facebook is not going to shut your ad account down. It's the most ridiculous argument I ever hear in my entire life. I see it all over the place. They will not. If you're trying to run a Facebook ad to like a multi-level marketing offer or to an affiliate offer, if you're trying to run a Facebook ad to, um, you know, sell some substance that's illegal, yes, they're going to shut your Facebook ad down. If you want to run ads to like a dating offer, yes, they're going to shut it down eventually. That's the reality of it. They're not going to shut it down for a business trying to promote their business. That's, that's what Facebook loves and wants. And so um, also we will we'll get people that say about the, this lead gen model, two-page site model, is that you have to pay for ads. You do not have to pay for ads, okay? The clients you land pay for the ads. That's the offer, is that I will run your, your ads, here's the cost, and you pay ad spend. Yes or no? Like, that's what you do. You would never do it any other way. There are students who will say, hey, my fee is $1,500 bucks plus. Uh, yeah, I mean, the problem with the downside of like your client paying for the ad is that Again, you have to get a client to agree to use you as a service provider, you know, and so especially if, you know, as a beginner, um, it's very difficult because you don't have any reputation on the Internet. So why would a, a business owner trust you? whom you've they've never met to with their with their credit card and trust you to run their AdWords or Facebook ad campaign, right? So it's difficult to get that sale. Um, you have to do a lot of prospecting and a lot of what they teach and what a lot of these um, programs they teach is like sending out a bunch of emails to these business owners or using LinkedIn, right? But when all the students are doing the same thing in their programs, like a lot of these business owners, they've already received similar messages on LinkedIn or um, emails like, you know, like this. So 
uh, you know, you're going to have to churn and burn through a lot of different emails to get f some business owners interested and you have to go close them, right? You have to be good at sales as well. So getting a business owner to agree to, to run AdWords with you, especially when you don't have reputation in the beginning is very, very challenging. 500 bucks for ad spend. So it's $2,000 a month. They push it into their feed. Whereas like with what we do, we rank the website first. So once you have the website and it's generating free leads and you can send free leads to a business owner, that's essentially we're creating results in advance and we're essentially creating our online reputation before we reach out to business owners. This, this makes sales and closing business owners much, much easier. Okay. Some people do that. Some people don't. But most of the time, 98% of the time, when somebody is running a tree service business here, they're, they're putting the client's card on file with Google. Like 98% of the time, you want to put the client's card on file with Google. You want to put the client's card on file with Facebook. So again, you hear a lot of stuff around here and that, that's this business. So whatever route you choose, make sure you understand the pros and the cons because both models have them. And I remember back in the day, I, I didn't know which one to choose. I chose a rank rent. We built our coaching program around what we call SEO anxiety, which is somebody's paying me 1500 a month to rank something that I don't know when it's going to rank and you're not going to get any leads. That's the reality of that business. Is it, a, can you make a sh boat? No, you don't. That's, that's nonsense. Like if, if a client is paying you like 1500 a month, um, you can use some of that money to run AdWords with it while your SEO is kicking in to keep that client satisfied. So there's many different strategies, different things you can do uh, to not have the so-called SEO anxiety. A load of money? Absolutely. And maybe you'll be fantastic at ranking sites. I don't think I was. <laughs> so uh, that's the problems that I ran. That, that, that is ultimately the problem that James has here, in my opinion, is like he actually never spent the time to master the skill of ranking a website, you know? And I just know that he was not in our program long before he started his own coaching program. So I don't think he ever, and I know this guy does like real estate and different things like that on the side. So he, he never really ran an agency, never got an agency successful. Like he just runs a coaching program, you know? So I don't think he's really speaking from his experience um, for him to say some of the things. And I know because he wouldn't be saying half of the things he just said here if he actually was experienced at running uh, a rank and rent model or if he actually knew how to rank websites. Um, case in point, like if he w knew how to rank websites, like he would have like blogs that promote his coaching program. He doesn't like I, whereas I have a blog where I promote our coaching program, by the way, it ran by Dan who, who, who also taught James and Dan is also like the third part, third silent partner in their coaching program, like local marketing vault, like Dan helped James and Jason, uh, start their coaching program. So we actually like do what we teach and preach where I, my blog ranks globally for global search terms and we generate, you know, traffic to our coaching program. We actually teach students how to rank websites. So like, that's what makes us different from all these other online coaches is that we you can actually see us do what we're claiming that we know how how to do we actually you can actually see us ranking sites in google which is what we teach students but either way no matter what one uh, whatever route you choose whatever business model you choose in the end it's going to come down to how hard are you going to work how many no's can you get without having to complain or quit and basically promising yourself that you're never going to quit and you have no idea how many times. Yeah, with AdWords agency, you're gonna get a lot of no's. <laughs> like you have to continually reach out to business owners and get rejected because you're basically, you're like, you don't have that much leverage as an AdWords agency because you're essentially begging business owners to like give you a, a chance, give you a shot, um, asking for their credit card before you can run any traffic or generate any leads. Like you're basically, you're not a business owner. You're more like a, um, service provider slash like contractor, right? You need other business owners to hire you before you can generate any value on the internet. Whereas what we do is we actually have a skill set that's valuable, which is ranking organically in Google. James said him him himself he's not very good at it. So this is a this is a, a valuable skill that not too many people know about. 
So once you learn this skill, you actually make yourself more valuable in the marketplace and you have websites that are already getting traffic and generating free traffic, which is better than AdWords traffic because most people have what's called ad blindness. They don't, they skip the ad part and they go to the organic section. So we're, we're generating at the same time, like free traffic plus our leads are higher quality. And so like we have the leverage in our business. We don't get no's or rejections as much as the AdWords client. Like we, I hardly ever get no's because what business owner doesn't want organic traffic? You know, every business owner wants that, you know? So, um, we don't, that's why I like our rank and rent model is that we have the upper hand, not the business owner. I've seen people come into this business and the first roadblock they run into, they're done. And then how many others that just go right through that roadblock and their life is completely different today than it was 90 days ago. I have every day I have examples of it. All right, that's all I got uh, for you today. I hope the, uh, the comparing the rank and rent and the lead gen two page site model uh, made a lot of sense. And if uh, you were struggling with it, maybe this video helped. Thanks a lot. Subscribe, comment. Uh, I'm not that impressed with this video. Obviously, you know, some of you guys are going to think that I, I am biased, but again, AdWords agency is not that special to me because like, it's not that scalable because at the end of the day, like uh, you're still depending on other business owners to trust you and hand over their credit card, you know, and, and they can fire you at any time. Like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with doing AdWords for, for businesses like on a short term basis, but there's no guarantee of how long you can keep that client. So we always tell our students, yeah, like if you, if there is an opportunity to go get AdWords clients, uh, to make some money on the short term, but take that money and reinvest it into actually creating digital assets that you own and control, which are the rank and rent websites. And, and those websites, uh, will give you actually your business, the long term uh, s stability. And because, you know, a rank and rent website is not something that is easily duplicatable by other people. You know, why do you think James and Jason, or in this case, James Bonadies got into the coaching business? You know, that's selling information that a coaching business has more barrier to entry. Not too many people are going to start a coaching program, right? So this is what gives James Bonadies his lifestyle, the long-term stability. So in business, like you always want to create something that is not easily duplicatable. The biggest problem I see with uh, AdWords agency is a lot of these business owners, they can learn to do that, the AdWords themselves. Another thing that I want to point out is to make money on the internet, all you like, all it is basically is uh, getting attention and having a way to monetize that attention. So, getting attention on the internet, in other words, means like traffic generation. So, if you do, if you know how to generate traffic, whether that is on TikTok or YouTube or by learning how to rank websites in Google, like you, that's fifty percent of how to make money. Then you have to know how to monetize that traffic, right? The problem I have with AdWords agency, it's still not a real online business that's scalable because your traffic, you, you're not generating your own traffic. You're re relying on the client's credit card to generate traffic. So you don't have full control over your business. Um, that, that is not a business that I want to put all my eggs into that one basket, right? Like if I'm a, a better business model is, is, you know, like a rank and rent, where you own your own website that you ranked in Google. So it's generating uh, its own traffic, your own traffic that no one can take away from you. Uh, starting a blog, which is a lot more difficult, more long term, but it's, um, but it's still a great business model because it's your site that you're ranking. Uh, you're generating your own traffic that no one can take away from you, right? Starting a YouTube channel, another great business model because it's your own channel. No one can take away your, your channel. Like every video has the opportunity to generate more traffic. So it's traffic that you own and control. Same with TikTok, like having your own TikTok channel. Like you want to focus on the skill of generating traffic or generating attention on the internet and for you to have like a long-term um, viable business. Now, 
where AdWords agency, like there's nothing wrong with AdWords agency. I just wouldn't focus on AdWords agency as a long-term strategy. Uh, I look at it as more of like a, almost like this thumbnail kind of says it kind of like part-time way to kind of make money on the internet, but you still want to take the money that you make from AdWords agency and focus on creating digital assets that you own and control that's generating traffic on the, on the internet. Digital assets meaning, you know, rank and rent web, websites, blog, or YouTube videos, or other forms of video content on other platforms. Uh, yeah, so that's it. If, um, yeah, oh, also like if you're interested in what we have to teach, our rank and rent uh, coaching program, Rank and rent, in my opinion, is still the best, by far the best online business model for a beginner uh, to get started because we teach you that those fundamentals of owning your own asset and, and generating your own traffic. So yeah, um, click on the link in our description and you'll find out more information on our coaching program. We have one of the most successful coaching programs out there. So uh, I will see you guys soon.